Import and export. Till now, we have seen how to open works done in Corel Draw X3. What if we want to bring any object into the applications, or what if we want to take them out of Corel Draw X3 and allow them to be viewed in other applications? Here we will call all these technical terms as import and export. Let's start with importing a document. This option helps us to bring images or files of different formats, other than Corel Draw X3, to the current page location. The keyboard shortcut for importing any image is Control plus I. Let's see how you can use Import Files options in Corel Draw X3. We can do this in three ways. In the first way, go to File menu, choose Import. In this import window, this is Look In drop down list. As I click on this down arrow, it will give me a list of all the hard disk, folders, and files in a systematic way. Choose your file from the list like this. I'm going to choose this file. Now, see, here is the file name text box, which will display your selected file, and the format of that file will be displayed here in this text box. Let's click this down arrow. It's showing a large list of file formats which we can use in Corel Draw X3. Here, for my selected file, I'm selecting JPEG format. With more lists like options, full image, crop, and resample. Let's see all one by one. First, we will see full image. Click Import. We've got a new pointer. With a file name and width and height with unit, click left mouse pointer, and drag the cursor on the page and liberate the pointer, so we get a full picture here. But sometimes we need only a specific portion of the image. For this, we will choose the crop option. Let's check out this option also. Go to File menu, choose Import. From the import window, choose the crop option. Click import. A new crop window came up. Here we can adjust the border manually, like this way. If necessary, we can type the values and choose unit also. Now let's check how the image will look. Drag it on the page. Note only the selected portion of image is visible. The next option is resample. Again, go to the file menu, and choose import. From import window, choose resample option and click import. This is resample image window where you can adjust a width and height. You can also change a measurement unit, resolution, both horizontal and vertical. Click OK. Now you will see a pointer over your document where you want to place the picture. Drag the picture over the document by holding the left button of the mouse. The second way is, you can use the keyboard shortcut key, Control plus I, and follow the same steps. There is one more way to import files, from standard toolbar. This is the import icon. Just click it, and the same import window will appear. You can proceed in the same way. Now we shall discuss about export option. Okay, let's start. This option helps you to take Corel Draw documents to other locations. The keyboard shortcut for exporting any image from Corel Draw to another location is Control plus E. You can export in two ways. First way is to go to File menu and choose Export from the menu. An export window will appear. This is a Save In drop-down list. As I click on this down arrow, it will give me a list of all the hard disk, folders, files in a systematic way. Choose your place where you want to save and keep the file. Here, I'm going to choose my picture in my computer. Now see here is the file name text box, 
which will display your selected file, and the format of that file will be displayed here. Save as type. Click this down arrow, and a long list of different file formats are present here, which we can use in Corel Draw X3. Here, for my selected file, I am selecting BMP, Windows Bitmap Format. Here, as you can see, one more drop down menu with options like Uncompressed and RLE Compression. Choose the suitable option. Click Export. Now, Convert to Bitmap. Window will appear as we have selected BMP format for our file. Adjust Image Size which contains options like Width, Height, Resolution options. Color, which contains an option, click OK. Now your file is exported to my picture in my document as a bitmap file format. Another way is, you can use the keyboard shortcut key, Ctrl plus E, and follow the same steps. One more way is, to use the tool from standard toolbar which is right here. Now you can easily import any file from another location or you can export files to a different location.